back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. Selena Gomez has been back in the news recently. She has been trending for at least the last four days, but this time it is not because of her relationship with her ex Justin Bieber or a feud with Hailey Bieber. It is because of a simple statement she made about the Israel-Palestine conflict and the general state of the world. A post that I personally thought was quite empathetic and self-aware and seemingly genuine, but of course the internet has been tearing her apart because it wasn't up to their standards, because nothing anybody does is ever enough for them. But what am I supposed to do about it? But before we get into it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. This is what Selena posted on her Instagram story. She said, I've been taking a break from social media because my heart breaks to see all of the horror, hate, violence, and terror that's going on in the world. People being tortured and killed or any act of hate towards any one group is horrific. We need to protect all people, especially children, and stop the violence for good. I'm sorry if my words will never be enough for everyone or a hashtag. I just can't stand by innocent people getting hurt. That is what makes me sick. I wish I could change the world, but a post won't. Love, Selena. Compared to most celebrity posts about social and political issues, I thought that this was very thoughtful and it seemed genuine. And it's a sentiment that I think everybody can agree with. She is literally just wanting peace. She is condemning violence against innocent people, which is what we should all be doing. Her heart is hurting. She's having to take a step back from social media because of everything she's seeing. That's a very, very valid point because what we've seen for the last month has been horrific. None of this is terrible or shocking. I feel like she's being very real. But because she did not pick a side and didn't post resources or some infographic, people decided that she is a villain. One person commented and said, I never liked her. She's super fake. I don't get why she has so many fans, but I hope this really cancels her. Another person said, I used to be a Selenator. How, how do you say that? Selenator? Selenator? Whatever it is. I used to be a Selenator since 2008, but now cancel her forever. Another person said, Selena Gomez supporting Israel shouldn't be a surprise. They both have one thing in common, playing the victim. Like she didn't, she literally didn't even say anything about either Israel or Palestine. She wasn't picking a side, but they've got it in their heads that she is on the wrong side because her statement wasn't up to their terrible, unreachable internet standards. You know what? It's absolutely absurd. I don't know what she believes beyond what she posted online. I really don't care or need to know because she's a pop star and a makeup mogul. I'm not going to her for political advice about a geopolitical conflict that's been going on since longer than either of us have been alive. That is literally the last thing in the world that I would look to Selena Gomez for. She does seem like an empathetic person though, and a nice person who cares and is trying to be kind. And in our current society where everybody is just hell bent on being angry and screaming online, I'd say that that is a major win. Just like your dog's getting the proper nutrients is a major win, which is why you should buy Rough Greens. Naturopathic Dr. Dennis Black, the founder of Rough Greens, is focused on improving the health of every dog in America. And I talk about it every week, so I think you guys know by now that traditional dog food is dead food, and it's not giving your dogs the proper nutrition that they need every single day. But Rough Greens can boost your dog's food back to life. Rough Greens is a supplement, not a whole food, that contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants that your dog needs every single day, and that he's probably not getting from his traditional kibble. And the best part is, you don't have to go out and buy some fancy new expensive dog food or get a raw food subscription. You can just sprinkle Rough Greens on their food every single day, and you will be leagues ahead from where you were. Dog owners everywhere are raving about Rough Greens because it supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels, and so much more. We are what we eat, and that obviously goes for dogs too. My family's dogs have been on raw diets for many years now. We care a lot about their diet, but even though I'm pretty confident in our raw diets, I love adding Rough Greens just to make sure they are getting exactly what they need. Now, the team at Rough Greens is so confident that Rough Greens will improve your dog's health that they are offering my viewers a free Jumpstart trial bag so that your dog can try it too. That free Jumpstart trial bag can be at your door in just a few business days. So go to freeroughgreens.com slash Brett, or you can call 877-66-MY-DOG. Again, that is freeroughgreens.com slash Brett, or you can call 877-66-MY-DOG today. Have they ever even considered that not everybody needs to have an opinion on every single issue that's going on in the world, and that not everybody is educated about complex global foreign affairs. Although I would argue that most people commenting about Selena Gomez probably aren't that educated either, based on what they're saying. God, you're annoying. Everything you say is annoying. It is okay to say, I don't know, but still care and have empathy. I think we've totally lost that because everybody puts so much pressure on themselves, but pressure on other people to always be posting, always have an opinion, make sure you're posting resources. Just stop. It's okay to take a step back, reevaluate, 
learn about the issue before making some grand statement, especially if you have an audience of 430 million followers on Instagram. But of course, the people making Selena trend do not believe that. Now, in addition to just calling to cancel her, they were also bringing up old posts of hers about other social justice issues. Like that original poster said, Selena Gomez is being so stupid right now, she is downplaying her massive following and being hypocritical. If a post can't help change the world, why call yourself a philanthropist? Why post about mental health, BLM, women's rights, American elections, et cetera, et cetera? And then she goes on and says, the way she tweeted this for Ukraine. The hypocrisy is insane. It's clear that white bodies will always be valued more. White bodies. So now we're, now we're turning this into a race issue, of course, because it was not complex enough. So now we're going to bring race into it. I am tired of Earth. Just to play devil's advocate here, I have no idea if this is what Selena is thinking, but this was my first thought. Have we ever considered that maybe she's learned from posting social justice warrior content that she can't change the world by posting resources and that sometimes she isn't as informed as she thought? Maybe she's changed her mind about this over the last couple of years because of the hate that she has gotten for trying to post resources or having an opinion about things. Like, I genuinely do not understand the outrage here. That might have been a little excessive. Thankfully, even though she was trending for days on Twitter about this and people were bullying her and literally forced her to re-delete her Instagram, most people that I saw commenting actually had level heads, like this TikTok creator. If you are trying to understand one of the most complicated geopolitical conflicts that has been going on for about a century, but really generations, really for thousands of years, there are very, very many places where you can get reliable information about that. My personal preference is a paper of record. The New York Times is probably the paper of record in America right now. It is my belief that it is not only inappropriate, but irresponsible for the people whose job it is, the overly fit, perky brunette women whose job it is to sell you tank tops and sparkly handbags and lip gloss, to also be influencing your opinions about something that is so nuanced and so complicated that people with PhDs in the subject still don't have all of the information. Because I don't believe that you should be forming your opinions about it because of things that people like me say. I don't believe it, and so I'm not going to do it. It's not appropriate, it's, there's a time and a place, and there are many people who are very educated about it who would be happy to tell you I am not one of them. It is shocking that this is a controversial take. Like she got so much pushback on this that she literally turned off the comments. And this came after there were a slew of videos on TikToks from other creators being like, look at what influencers are posting, like nothing's going on right now. Be watching your favorite influencers. Are they selling you things or are they talking about like, shh, that's like I, again, what she said exactly. The people that I follow to buy dresses, to see what clothes are in style right now, to sell me makeup. I do not want to hear about this issue from them because I don't trust them. Why would I? Selena Gomez is the last person I would look to for a nuanced, complex thought about Palestine and Israel. The best thing she could have done was just say, this is awful. This hurts my heart. I have empathy because that's the best we all can do if we don't have PhDs in the subject, if we do not have personal experiences, if we are not personally studying this and we're like, it's just shocking to me that this is controversial. I'm, I'm, I may have overreacted. And granted, the only thing that this TikToker said that I would disagree with is that the New York Times is the most reliable resource. I think we all know that it's really not. But other than that, I love everything she said. And people on Twitter, even under the pop culture news posts and the angry tweets about Selena, even people under those posts seem to have a lot of decency and common sense. Like one person said, pop star doesn't understand geopolitics. I'm so shocked I'm shaking right now. Well done, Selena, you've earned my respect. You didn't jump on a bandwagon for clout based on which side is fashionable. I'm not an expert either. I hate pop music, but this post was ace refreshing. And then one person commented this under the original post calling out Selena and said, I understand what you're saying, but a singer isn't going to stop major conflict that has lasted longer than they have been alive. Another person said, when somebody doesn't know enough to form an opinion, the only reasonable thing to do is to recuse yourself. People who are not doing this and aren't taking a measured stance have an agenda. Yes. And then Liberty Anders said Selena Gomez recognizing that she's not a foreign policy expert and therefore unqualified to make wild sweeping statements about the most controversial conflict of all time makes me like her more. Sorry. And then last one, love this one. This guy said, People have different opinions on how public figures use their platforms and engage in philanthropy and activism. It is essential for individuals to express their views and concerns constructively and for celebrities to consider the impact of their actions and messages. Open dialogue and discussion can lead to a better understanding of these complex issues. Yes, people are literally trying to cancel a woman because she is being thoughtful, because she doesn't know exactly what's going on and she had the gall to have some basic empathy. You have to be a real low life piece of shit 
to get involved in politics. She's considering the fact that she has 430 million followers on this platform alone who are going to rip apart her statement and be angry at her when she doesn't know enough to speak on it in the first place. She knows that a post and a hashtag is not going to end a war, but obviously what she says is going to reach people. So why wouldn't she take care? Also, I thought that this was the crowd that was all about being silent and sitting down and listening and educating yourself. When did they change their tune? Or are they just being bitter, angry, and hypocritical per usual? Okay, that was fun. And those people are crazy. If you want to see more videos like that, make sure you subscribe to this channel and like that video. And if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram at I'm Brett Cooper.